here's my London broil, and I'm going to use the slow cooker savory pot roast by McCormick's, not a sponsor. I'm going to show you how I season it, and we're going to throw it into the crock pot together. I have my crock pot plugged in, and I'm going to turn it to low. I am going to rinse and season my London broil and take it out of this bag. And then we're going to pop it into the crock pot. I'm going to cut up some celery to throw in. Make the little gravy packet and throw some potatoes in and show you what I'm doing. I'm going to season it with about a tablespoon of dried onion soup mix. Three teaspoons of garlic. And three teaspoons of fresh black cracked pepper. I'm just going to give it a light rub. And so the flavor is going to go all the way through your London broil. I'm going to rinse my hands. I'm going to drop it into the crock pot. I'm at an odd angle. I'm having a difficult time this morning with the selfie stick. It's not cooperating at all with me. I'm going to scrape all those spices off your plate into the crock pot and then I'm going to make the gravy mix and we're going to chop some celery and we're going to chop some potatoes. Dump the entire contents into the measuring cup with a cup of water. You can pick these up at Walmart. If you're local, you can pick them up at Hannaford and ShopRite. I think Price Chopper may even carry them on Market 32. And mix it well. And we're going to dump it right on in. Now we're going to prep some vegetables. I grab my celery. Give it a quick rinse. When I'm done with my celery, I'm going to wrap it up in paper towels. We're going to use a little bit today and the rest of it Thanksgiving, which is Thursday already. Where has the year gone? Put these ones into the crock pot with this London broil. And I'll wrap them up in paper towels before I put them away. The paper towels absorb all the moisture to keep them fresh no longer. Last up to two weeks, saving you money. Dump them on in. I'm going to rinse my cutting board. And rinse a couple of potatoes and then I'm going to peel them and we'll chop them together. The potatoes are peeled, I'm going to cube them. And I'll place them around the rim of the crock pot. I always lose at least one. How about you guys? I cut them into a decent sized piece so they cook thoroughly in the crock pot. Let's put them in the crock pot now. And place them in like I did in my truck. You can add bell peppers if you wanted to. Any kind of vegetable. We don't eat carrots so I don't put them in here. Place 
from all the way around. And there's a little bit of gravy left in here, so I'm going to add about a tablespoon of water and just dump it in so it doesn't go to waste. That way we get all that goodness from the packet used. I'm going to cover this. I'm going to let it cook on low for about eight hours. And when we come back in about six hours, we're going to take a look at it and see how it's doing. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done and on a platter and cut up and on a plate. Here's what it looks like in the crock pot. And it already looks and smells delicious. And it takes it all out of the crock pot. Starting with the potatoes and some of the beef. Everything looks delicious. Here comes the London Royal. Here's what the London Royal looks like on my plate and the potatoes from the crock pot about eight hours later. It looks delicious. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell.